And we talked a little bit, this reminds me then, we talked a little bit about incidental learning yesterday. And how do you, um, how do you explain that concept to your families when you go see them? Well, I made up kind of a corny story. It even has a name. It's called the Blue Bowl story. And so I say to the families, let me illustrate incidental learning. And I'll say, okay, you're in the kitchen. And we'll say, let's, let's put your child in a high chair. And this is a, you know, a child with maybe very low vision or totally blind and some hearing loss. And then we'll put another child the same age next to them in the high chair. And I'll say, now, it's the end of dinner. You're both up, wiping off the table, clearing away the dishes. And Dad says to Mom, hey, babe, you want to put on a Disney movie? Let me make some popcorn. And then he looks around and goes, where's the blue bowl? And the mom says, well, it's on top of the refrigerator. So dad walks over to the refrigerator. He reaches on top. He grabs the blue bowl, pulls it down, and he goes and makes the popcorn. Now the child with, with perfect vision and hearing just had four incidental lessons. And that was only a little 10-second interchange. The first is the object, the label object of the refrigerator. Daddy walked directly to the refrigerator. The second is the concept on top. I'm starting to understand what that might mean. And the third is a bowl and what a bowl can be. The, the child's used to a little bowl with raisins or Cheerios, but this is big. So maybe a bowl has to just have a scooped out place. And then the, the fourth thing is the color blue. I have a blue shirt and a blue ball, and this is a blue bowl, so I'm starting to get blue. So that child with all of their senses, you know, working, just had four incidental lessons that nobody planned in that 10-second period. But what did the very visually impaired or blind child with some hearing loss get? And the answer is Big Zippo. Even if they were able to hear some of the words, they weren't tied to meaning. And so I always say, now, the good news is the child can still learn all those things. But you see that the incidental things that are going on every day, every moment that a child is awake, a child with a sensory loss misses out on all that.